Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. And as I got an achievement for uh, just recently on Steam, I've apparently completed chapter 2, but apparently I am not. I guess I have to officially do this next quest to begin chapter 3. And there are only 3 chapters folks per character. And so like, wow. That means then possibly by the time I finish doing my videos for this month, we might be actually looking at, <laughs> surprisingly, me starting a new character. Now, the next character will be an Imperial. And uh, that is mainly just due to the fact that I don't want to keep doing Republic sides, uh, especially since we are doing planetary quests. It'd be nice to let some time go by in between the planetary stuff, obviously. But yeah, at the time of this recording, it is the 7th of May. And now, that being said, I have videos scheduled in advance to go public today and forward. Oh, we have the centers here. Surprised to see me? Who do you think pulled the strings to let you use this shuttle pad? Darmus told me what you're doing. It's quite heroic, really. The Treaty of Coruscant forbids official strikes on non-military vessels. We're lucky you're not bound by that. I'd hate to have to share the spoils with the whole squadron. And I'm sure they're thrilled not to share the risk with you. Just a warning then. The Empire is moving reinforcements into the area. I'd hate to see that handsome face blown into space debris. The shuttle pad's right over there. This is the ship we'll use to rendezvous. It's Imperial Salvage, so it's good camo. Combo's cracked a signal we need to dock with the King's Ransom. the rest of this goes that smoothly, I'm taking you on all my jobs. Don't jinx us. Bay's filled with empty cargo containers. Me and Combo will hide in one while you pilot us in. In one? After you secure the hangar bay, pop us and we'll loot the vaults from inside. W will you hold my hand, Vaz? You know I don't like the dark. Didn't I show you I won't let anything hurt you, bud? Just climb in. Nice and easy. Spring us when we're clear. All right, here we go. So, we got the achievement, I think, one mission early. I think this mission will conclude uh, chapter two. Which makes sense, because chapter one ended with us claiming the treasure and, you know, completing the huge uh, treasure hunt. And now chapter two is going to end with us essentially robbing a treasure uh, ship. Hey, what are you doing poking around here? The only arrival code we've received is for Imperial Starship 2423T6H3L5. Pilot Lieutenant Commander Anaya Arolia Cleone of the Chiss Alliance. 
Yeah, I know. I don't look very chiz. My parents were surprised, too. Who are you? This is a clearance 5 area. Drop your weapons and show your ID. Or I shoot. Didn't you get the memo from Intel? I'm here to investigate a suspected robbery. You're supposed to play along. I don't know. You need to talk to Fixer 55. This is his mission, and he's not known for dealing nicely with people who mess it up. I'll go check in with command. Uh, you wait right here. <sighs> that was very satisfying. <laughs> Blaster's faster. <laughs> that rhymed. Get the vaults, Combo. When he's got the security down, we should split up. Hit as many vaults as we can before they lock down again. Meet you back here when we're done. Okay, yeah, no, I, I highly doubt this is counting. We're, we're like we're still at zero, so class missions are clearly not counting. Uh, actually, no, I think he even said something about you has to be heroic missions and whatnot. Basically, the repeatables. And we had no extra quest uh, stuff popping up. Security officer. Oh, he said to heal. Oh, and he uses tech to heal rather than the force. So sorry, I forgot to unmute. So we went through an elevator and we're up and stealthing our way actually through this ship. And I, I actually had a cutscene uh, approaching this door and I was like, oh wait, I had, I was in vehicle mode. So hold on, I'll show you my exact thing. So we arrived through here. I immediately activated my stealth generator. I then used my rocket boots to fly here 
We had to zigzag a little bit past some enemies because the enemies were semi-zigzagging as well. So I had to avoid them. I then uh, activated the jet boost again to come up down, down this hallway. And what happened was I got close to this door, which triggered a cutscene. I was like, hold on, I was in a vehicle. So my companion was technically not there. And as such, there was a chance that he may have not been featured in the cutscene due to it. Because again, it's a glitch that happens a lot. So, yeah. I wanted to feature my, the companion in, but then it was after I exited that cutscene that I realized, oh no, the video is still uh, paused. So, there we go. Ugh, but yeah, folks, the reason why I have to, like, sometimes pause these videos is because I'm replying to a message and, like, oh my god. Just trying to, uh, mm. That's one way to break into a vault. Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We're just, we're just, you know, gonna sneak in here. Take this. I was gonna take this. You guys stand around doing nothing. Oh, here's some. There we go. Oh wow, I love how they, like, they then just vanished like, oh shit, all this shit is gone. We gotta get out of here. Oh, so this has a bit of a cooldown. So I'm not getting any bonus XP for killing these guys, so... Might as well... Do, 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 do. Why is it... Why would a droid head be... What? Okay, now the skull, actually, now with Sit, a skull can make sense. For Sit, a skull can make sense, but a droid head, like that. Hmm. That droid must be wor uh, must be storing some kind of information. Alright, with him gone, you might as well take out the cell generator. Vault. Oh, no guards running now. Interesting. Oh, we actually have green NPCs in here. Promoted him far beyond his station. What do the Dark Lords possibly see in this scheme to replace soldiers of the Empire with pathetic, lawless criminals? Who are you? How did you get in here? Three very important looking Imperial moths doing skulking around in some ray shielded closet. The ship is under attack! Call for reinforcements! The Void Wolf! The King's Ransom is under attack. I command you to use all your fleet's resources to drive off this invasion. Now, as you always remind me, I wasn't born to the Imperial military. So I may have the power structure wrong, 
but I'm pretty blasted sure I outrank you. I'm getting the feeling you guys don't like each other. You're the one they're begging me to save them from? I guess there are things pathetic lawless criminals are good for after all. You're bound by the rules of warfare to send reinforcements when an Imperial vessel is under attack. Oh, did I not mention? The Empire just declared war on the Republic and all its representatives. And as Article 17 of the Xios Convention states, an Imperial Admiral is justified in destroying Imperial targets at risk of falling into enemy hands. With the Captain's track record, I just can't take that chance. Get back to the hangar bay. There's an Imperial battlecruiser attacking the ship. The whole thing's gonna blow. Ah! So yeah, this is pretty much how I got one. You can see the guards down there. Nope. That was just closed. So you won't see me. What are you waiting for? Let's launch this ship. I hate Imperials, crazier than a hut on Glitterstem. What kind of morons blow up their own ship so it don't get looted? The sooner this is done, the better. Let's split and then let's split, you know? I don't want to chance anyone following. How much do we get? Get pulling it. I'll take what I got, you take what you got. Call it even. That's the way you want it, sounds fair to me. Been a pleasure, Captain. Come on, Combo. Let's go lie low and count this up. Thanks, Captain! Senator. Captain, I thought you were dead. The ship, I saw it explode. 
Meg fed a parton hoje es futot ki a tengere. Es a silgo terben a ser zet la kata. I'm a Jedi! So, Captain, are you the bad luck that keeps getting me attacked, or the lucky charm who keeps rescuing me? What are those things? Have you ever seen an animal like this? beast looks modified, but I can't make heads or tails of the original form. Well, I'll pay good money to find out what they are. And how Rogan the Butcher got his hands on them. He's just managed to move himself from thorn in my side to public enemy number one. So what's the plan? Send a strike team? Sick the SIS on him? Why would I want to do that when I have you? Rogan is the Void Wolf's most dangerous tool. I think the time has come to take down his criminal empire once and for all. Can you steeple your fingers and say, together we can rule the world? Stick with me, love. And you don't need to stop at one world. Perhaps we should take some time and strategize. Alone. What? Are you ashamed of me? A senator and some scruffy pirate? And a Twi'lek at that. You have to admit it'll draw some looks. Wow. Are you so eager to show me off? That was a racist comment. I have a room just off the shuttle bay. Oh, I guess that was my cue to leave, huh? Let's go. Don't say anything, Captain. I've got no interest in awkward pillow talk. Go to Darmus on Port Nowhere. Find out anything he knows about Rogan's business and those... things that attacked me. I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. Alright, uh... We now have to travel to Port Nowhere. Actually, no, I will end this video here, and then we'll pick up uh, what was going to Port Nowhere. <laughs>